In this episode of a mobile home makeover, I use an axe, eat some snacks, get rehinged, and prepare to store the Graco paint sprayer for a few weeks. And another final touch. The reason that we decided on vinyl wallpaper back here is because this is a mobile home and these walls are made out of very thin stuff and you can't do anything like tile back here because it's just too heavy for the wall to support it. The wall is flexible. Uh, our options were vinyl wallpaper or like peel and stick little tiles or um, or like a piece of linoleum, like a piece of vinyl flooring. But uh, we thought maybe the vinyl wallpaper would be both the easiest and um, the prettiest. It's uh, not trying to look like anything but wallpaper. I'm going to pull this covering up and paint some kills around the toilet. Plumbing openings filled with steel wool. I vowed not to uh, get any fruit when I went shopping at Safeway. I'm just going to uh, enjoy some of the local apples and plums. My gosh. I declare this alleyway is scenic enough to give it a shot painting it. It's the same alleyway that runs behind that house that we're fixing up, but it's got a lot more sheds along it. It's pretty fucking cool. Son of a bitch, this was a row of beautiful shade trees like a week ago. And they're getting ready to getting ready to put in a sidewalk, but fuck what happened to the trees, man. These plums aren't looking quite as purple as ours, but I'm gonna try one. Oh yeah, that's good. It might be a week or two before we use the uh, paint sprayer again, so I'm going to uh, follow some tips that are in here and uh, use the power flush valve, this thing that was included with the purchase, and I'm gonna put some of this stuff in. So first I threaded this on here and did the prime for about 20 seconds. Now, holding this above the level of the paint sprayer, I'm adding two ounces of whatever this stuff is. Okay, that's about two ounces. It's called pump armor. And then now I turn it on for it's flushed through. Well, it turned my wastewater a lovely blue color. Actually, it really seemed to help. Also, they recommended using a brush on this, which uh, is probably a really good idea. Packed up and awaiting either the second bathroom or the arrival of my brother. Whichever comes first, whichever is needed. Yeah, my brother's coming out uh, in a couple weeks. Deb actually is gonna be here in two days. Lunch, I guess you'd technically call this brunch. It's a egg on a bagel. So much blue tape. Saying goodbye to the R2 unit. We um, haven't fixed the heat pump yet, but the heat does work and we got a replacement R2 unit from a friend in the city. Oh, I'm not gonna chop it up. I'm gonna try to uh, make some shims here.
uh, the other day when I was under there, I tried this one to see whether it fit, and it did not. It was just a little too big. I couldn't find a, a, a mobile home wedge at the hard, hardware store yesterday, so I got this piece of vine maple up at the in-laws and uh, cut, it, cut it into a little bit more of a wedge with the axe. And hope seeing if that's going to work. Well, we still have a long way to go. This is going to be painted before all it's done. But we've been here long enough that leaves have started to grow on this tree root that I exposed. The door to the primary bathroom has been having trouble closing. And I reset this hinge over here where there had been a screw broken off in this one. I drilled a new hole and I had it closing for a little while, but it's not closing again now. So what I'm going to do is pull this out, hollow this out and just give it a little bit more room that way. It's, uh, it's still there. It looks to be stripped. Now I hope I didn't overdo it so the top doesn't close. See here. Closes just nicely. Another happy take two brought to you by a whole mobile home makeover. The reason I needed to get the door to close was because I needed access to this, this toilet hole. I'm about to peel back this tape and paint some kills here. Tommy, should this, uh, that little piece right there be removed? Saturday. Oh, the ATV almost ran into the uh, <laughs> the horse drawn trailer. So they have these crazy speakers downtown, and right now they're playing Skrillex Justin Bieber. Never noticed this before, it's nice. It'd be nicer if it were. I saw this place for sale quite some time ago. They were asking a ton of money for it. It's like a former textiles facility. I guess maybe it's still for sale. After the mining industry shut down here, this was kind of like the big hope. This, this factory. Help is indeed wanted. Like up there where the siding's coming off. Oh, I have not seen a homeless person, but I did just run into somebody camped out back there. This factory has uh, one of the nicest views in town. It's been a while since this little cul-de-sac was put in. 
Thanks for watching. Am I going to get onto the house today? Mm, maybe. Maybe I'm going to go for a hike, though.